I wasn't planning on going fishing, but it's just amazing. Blue skies, very little wind, like 80 degrees, just beautiful, beautiful days. So I've decided to do something I really love to do, which is explore some of Florida's back country. So that's where I am. I've been spending the last couple hours getting deep, deep into the back country of Florida. I'm not even sure that I can find my way out of here, but it should be an adventure, which I'm always up for. I'm gonna be throwing big top waters, trying to catch tarpon, trout, snook, redfish, anything that's back here. I'll turn a little bit more. <laughs> that is fun. Oh yeah. Top water snooking. Little guy, but fun. All right, let's get these hooks out. There you go. Just send him on his way. And there he goes. Stingray. That's why you gotta be careful. Look at him down there bearing himself. Someone coming after it? Damn. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh, oh, is it a red? I think it's a nice red. Oh, oh, that was a pop. That was a pop right there. That was a pop right there. Oh. Uh, decent fish right here. That was a pop. And it came back on the second go. Oh, that was a pop and a half by this red. Nice. Whoo, heck yeah. Keep him off the power pole. Singer's like, what's going on? Heck yeah. All right. Pulling the boat. Oh. All righty. Put him in the shade here. Keep him in the shade. All right. Beautiful red on top water. Awesome. Let me get this one released and uh, get some more. Good kick. Good kick. Should I throw it back in there or should I throw it right on him like that? Oh. I was looking the other way. Man, that was cool. So I can sling one a little bit farther back into this pocket without, oh wow, that was, a little bit too close right now, oh my gosh, I don't know if you guys can see this, a bull shark just swam out, uh, a decent sized bull shark, hello bull, Oh, little guy, little guy. Still under it, still under it. Okay. I've been having some good luck in these little coves and kind of creek looking areas. This one's not really much of anything. Just fishable wise, fishability wise. Oh, look at this redfish right here. Oh, big old red, big old red. Just came right up to the boat and said, hello. How are you doing? Man, darn it, and I had a top water. That was, <laughs> I was like, yeah, get him, get him. Eat this top water. Ooh, I'm never ready.
All right, here's one to help me out in future videos. Anybody really good at red fishing, sight fishing especially, what would you have done right there? If you could do anything, if you could be holding any rod and reel right now with any size line, any size bait or lure, or any, any type of bait or lure, what would it be to get that redfish to eat? Also remember, I'm in a highly pressured area, so they are a bit skittish. But could you have got that fish to eat? Please let me know how you do it because I could not have got that fish to eat. <laughs> no way, there's just no way that fish was gonna eat for me. How do you get them to eat? Put it in the comments and I will do a video on it where I go out and try out your method and just look for it. Look at this old stingray. Cool, he was just buried, has a bunch of sand on him. I think that's why he looks old. He's probably middle age. But uh, yeah, yeah, do that, please. Um, leave it in the comments and I will go out and I will you know, troll around all day in these back countries looking for those redfish, looking for that situation, doing exactly what you tell me to do. And I will post that video no matter what. <laughs> Something's on it. Something small. Jeez. <laughs> I think it's a something really small. What the heck is this? It's getting small. Just a little tiny snook. Buddy. Buddy, throw it. Throw it for me. Uh, don't shake. There you go. Little guy. Beautiful. Go grow up nice and big. <laughs> there we go, popped off, thank gosh. Oh, something's on it, something's on it. I'm decent, I think. Oh. Oh. Mm. It's a snook. <laughs> nice. Come on, bud. Heck yeah. <laughs> oh, he's not all that bad. Not huge. Okay. Oh. All right, a little low 20 snook. You gave me a nice top wire pop, so I'm really thankful for that. There he goes. Oh, something's on it. Oh, it's a red, it's a little red. Look at the little red. Uh-oh. He's still semi-nested. I mean, he's little. He's little. I don't know if you can see him. He's got some real good coloring that blends right into... Oh, don't, don't do that. That was almost... Oh, don't do that. That's worse. Oh, don't do that. Jeez, a Pete's. Well, I don't think there's anything in here that isn't terrified at the moment, is there? That's what you call incognito. You gotta be real quiet. You don't wanna scare these fish. Oh. That snook is lively. <laughs> Keep him out of the mangroves. I don't think he's that big, but he is aggressive or energetic. Energetic is the better word. Whew. I'm still looking for this big old grandmother. But. Oh, the snooker. I'm trying to think of what the word is. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> They're doing fun stuff for me. They're not huge, but... Let's see if I can pull that one out. 
Alright. Ooh, something's on it. Oh, there it is. Another little guy, but you know. <laughs> Come on, bud. Come on, bro. Spit it. Spit it. Mm. There you go. Nice little guy. Swim off. Swim free. Get big. Get mean. Come back meaner next time. You weren't mean enough. Destroy that plug. What the hell? Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Oh! Oh, look at the head on this snook. Look at the size of this snook. <laughs>